Hi, my name is Riley Odlin. I'm a sales applications engineer at RMS Roller Grinder. My name is Blake Sanis. I'm the vice president of sales at RMS. And today we are going to talk about sieve analysis or grist analysis or kind of common terms for it. All right. So Riley, uh, generally speaking, why does a brewer want to go through and, and, and do this process? So really the, the main I guess reason or kind of the, the biggest benefit of doing this analysis is that you know this is your toolkit. This is how you measure what your grist looks like going into your brew house. So uh, just like you have a hydrometer or a refractometer to kind of measure the, the gravity of your, your wart, this is how you would measure the, the contents of your, your grist. So you want to kind of strive for that consistency so that you're making sure that you have a, you know, a, a good quality, repeatable product. So this is what you're using to, to measure that, to test that out. All right, and what comes in this kit and what are we looking at today? So what we all have here is your sieve set here, uh, which consists of a, a cover so that you can make a little bit less of a mess. Um, and your, your three sieves here. So the, the, uh, a sieve in general is, so it's a, a little container that has a mesh bottom to it. And that mesh on there, the spacing on there is a specific spacing based on the size of the sieve. So this is a number 14 sieve. So the, the opening is a certain micron distance away from, from uh, the other openings. And then as you go down in your sieve set, this is your 14, this is your 30, this is a 60 sieve. So it gets finer as you go down. So it lets smaller and smaller particles through. And then the bottom one is your pan, which is just a flat, plain pan to catch any of the fine material that's left over after it goes through the, those three sieves. Okay, excellent. Walk us through the steps of how to actually do a risk analysis. So you'll need your, your sieve set, your scale that you can measure in grams, and you'll need a container, and then you'll need your sample that you pulled from your, from your mill. Okay. So the first thing you do is, is zero out your scale, and then you take your sample and measure out your 100 grams. So you're looking for 100 grams in the sample. Yep, that's okay. right. Once you get to your 100 grams, then we will we'll make sure that we have the dry, empty weight of our pan and our three sieves. So we'll weigh those ahead of time, write out the empty weight, and then we'll take our 100 gram sample and we'll pour that into the top of our sieve set. Okay, then what are we doing? We're gonna take our cover again, try not to make too, too much more of a mess than what we have to. So put the cover on, and then we're just gonna shake the crap out of it. We're gonna shake it back and forth for about five minutes. I'm not gonna do it for five minutes because Probably not a very exciting video, unless we can maybe do like a time lapse, that, that could be fun. Uh, and then we're going to take the each one of the sieves with our samples in it, and we're going to weigh it again. So we'll take our 14. We're going to weigh it and we're going to get our new weight of that sieve with the sample in and that'll tell us how many grams we have in that sieve. Okay. So we'll do that for each one of the, of the samples. Here's our, our 14, if you can see that very well. So there's our 14 sieve. And here's our 30. You can see the particles in there are, are quite a bit smaller. You can see a little bit of husk in there. Uh, so this is going to be kind of your, your your coarser grits, and then that 60, that's kind of your, your fine grits. And then in the bottom is all your fine material. So that's all of your, all the, you know, really the dust, the really fine material is going to be in the bottom of that, in that pan. Okay, so we got the, the empty weights and the sieves with the weight material, then what are we doing? So what are we looking for, I should say? So once we have that, we can we know what our distribution is. So how much we had in each one of those sieves 
And with that, we can kind of determine what, what, you know, what are, the distribution is between the differences of our sample. So we have kind of our, our, our key goals or kind of our, our general rule of thumb for what our targets are would be for the 14, we shoot for that 50 to 65%. For the 30, we shoot for that 20 to 30%. And then in that 60, typically we're looking for that 10 to 20%. And then we want less than 10% of the pan. So uh, it's gonna it's gonna vary kind of how your you know what your target is, depending on your equipment, where you're actually taking the sample from. But those are kind of the general rule of thumbs of, of where we try to focus for. Okay. And if someone wants to learn more about the sieve set, uh, how it works, how to, to do it, or even buy one, where would they, where would they go? Yeah, you can go onto our website, rmsrollergrinder.com, and just reach out to us and we can get you get you hooked up. Awesome. Thanks, Riley. Thank you.